What's going on guys, I'm Gronix here and welcome back to the PCL Season 3. Today we jump into our Week 9 game against Knox and the Downtown Dragology. Now, last week we took on uh, Andrew and the London Lanoons and we picked up, uh, spoilers, our first loss. Uh, that really sucked. I was hoping that we could try to go uh, all the way, try to go undefeated this season. Didn't happen. Um, we played pretty poorly, I felt. Um, in the early stages of the game and uh, I cast myself. Andrew played great, but now I really want to bounce back. I want to, you know, have a big impact in this next game and really do well. However, we're not going to have an easy time. Uh, Knox uh, is a person we should have played week three, but due to uh, time difficulties, that match never happened. Uh, I got the forfeit win just because I appeared to be um, more willing to play at certain times and maybe I was trying harder. That's appeared. Knox was obviously trying as well, but time didn't work out. Knox decided to forfeit. I got the win. Also, I believe Knox's phone was not with him, so like he basically, I think his phone broke, so um, what can you do? Um, but we do play him again this week, and uh, it's scary because his team is actually different than the first team. So the team that I prep for with, uh, you know, you know, week three, I could easily just bring that team. But he has a few mons that are uh, new that I definitely want to take account for. Uh, most notably, uh, the Lander Therian and the uh, Nihiligo. Um, those are really, really scary mons. Also, he had a Lycan Rock Day. Now he, has, now he has Sand Slash, which, I mean, I, he, could, he could bring. I don't know if he'd bring it, but he could bring it. Uh, but his team is very, very scary. Things like Charizard X, Weekoon, Snorlax, Embor. Um, Shaman is also is very, very scary. His team is on the far right and also the far left. Um, so very very scary team. Nox is currently I believe two and six, um, which I don't think represents him that much. One of them was a forfeit loss to me, uh, so he's only lost five games, and he started off the season so strong, picking up a surprise win against Champ. Not because people doubted him, it's because nobody had seen, um, nobody had seen uh, how he played, and then uh, Champ maybe was a little bit overconfident, but that's that's a different story. Uh, so we play him again today, and I'm really, really nervous. First off, there's a few mons on my team that really can't come. Incineroar has a decent matchup against some of the lower tier mons, but against the higher tier mons like Charizard and Landorus, it really doesn't do anything. Especially Suicune, it can't just Suicune at all, so they couldn't come. Uh, mons like Clefairy was very, very close to bringing, but not coming. Kamala uh, was actually on the original squad, but uh, it had to be dropped due to Embor and even Shaman. Especially defensive Kamala still can't take on a Shaman, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty depressing. The big thing for me is that Nidoking isn't coming this week, and not because it doesn't have a good matchup. Nidoking is a man that I think, one, he will over, over prep for, which would be nice. He'll over prep, maybe bring a assault vest, Snorlax, I don't know. Um, and maybe I'll take advantage of that. But two, uh, I wanted more bulk this week, because last week we lost to Andrew because I let one of my defensive walls die in the first seven turns, which was actually supposed to stay the whole game. Like, Seismitoad was so important at taking, taking on the Entei and the Garchomp, and when I didn't have a switch in at the end of the game, it's not because I didn't prep enough, it's because I let my fucking Seismitoad die to a stupid play. Um, so this week I'm bringing a few more walls. Also, I should have brought Bronzong instead of Scizor last week, which is actually what we're doing this week, because Scizor really doesn't have a good matchup. I think Scizor is the highest tier mon that we have, uh, of course, it's Scizor, that we're not bringing, simply because, not because it has a bad matchup. You know, it can take on things like Nihil Nihiligo, you turn out in Suicune, take on Snorlax and Shaman, um... You know, Zarowark, Registeel is a great matchup against a lot of his team, but the big thing for me is that it doesn't have a good matchup against Charizard, Landorus, and Embor. Three mods that I think he's pretty much guaranteed to bring, and I know he is, th you know, three fire types, or sorry, two fire types, but I still think he'll bring both, uh, if not one, he'll bring one for sure, but he he'll bring both because Embor uh, learns Grass Knot, which we all know uh, I hate Grass Knot. So, jumping into our squad, um, we're starting to team off with Tapu Koko. Fury, the Tapu Koko, Expert Belt, Electric Surge, Wild Charge, U-Turn, Himbarats, and Thunder Wave. Uh, three attacks, very, very simple to uh, explain. U-Turn is just there because I want to U-Turn out. And I don't want to be trapped by things like the Landorus and the Sand Slash and Volt Switch. Himbarats is there for the things like Sand Slash and Landorus. Uh, it does a lot to both of them. And Wild Charge is there because it's a great stab against his team, being able to one-shot things like the Hiligo. Uh, do a ton to Suicune, ton to Snorlax, uh, ton to Registeel, like in two-shot some variants. Uh, after Stealth Rocks, maybe like a special defensive set to take on that Tornadus, if you could do that. Um, I think Tapu Koko is going to be very, very important in this match. However, Tapu Koko is incredible setup fodder for the Charizard X, which is why we're running Thunder Wave right there. If the Charizard X comes in and I don't have a good switch in or a good way of stopping it, I might just have to let Tapu Koko die and Thunder Wave it. Because if I can Thunder Wave it and it Dragon Dances, you know, it's still scary, but it's not as scary. And, you know, that's something we're just going to have to, uh, you know, 
play around. Uh, next we have Tempest, the Tornado Stereo, and running Shiny this week, because I actually like Shiny's Shiny Tornadoes, it's pretty nice. Flying MZ, Regenerator with Hurricane, Heat Wave, U-Turn, and Super Power. Um, Hurricane is there because it hits a lot of things on his team uh, for neutral. The only thing that resists uh, Hurricane on his team is the Nihiligo, the Registeel, and uh, that's it. That's it. The only two. And um, I don't really think he'll bring both. If he does, it's fine because Bronzong literally walls both of them single-handedly, so it's fine. Um, uh, we actually have Heat Wave for the Registeel. Uh, we can't really hit Nihiligo, but Super Power is a physical move, and Nihiligo has Paper Thin's uh, physical defense, so it should be fine. Uh, Super Power is also there for the Snorlax, which is important. And also, it hits Registeel as well. So, you know, if he's in with Snorlax, uh, or if, sorry, if he is in with Registeel, and, you know, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go on a Snorlax to take a Heat Wave, I can go for Super Power and hit them both, and it'll be fine. Uh, the reason we're running the Z move Hurricane is because Z Hurricane uh, one shots uh, Charizard, and we don't have to worry about a miss. It also one shots the Landorus, it one shots uh, Embor. I mean, it would anyway if we landed a Hurricane, but, you know, the, the guaranteed Hurricane land is really nice, and I wanted to, I wanted one of them at least. And I think that could be important against things like the Charizard, which I do outspeed naturally. Also, Tapu Koko's speed is ma to outspeed a max speed uh, Raichu. Um, it's at 152, Raichu's max speed is 150, and uh, Torn is uh, the same speed, to outspeed Raichu. So the only thing that it speeds uh, these two mons are Choice Scarf Shaman, uh, Charizard at plus one, uh, or possibly a Choice Scarf Embor. I don't know the role. I think he has to be Jolly to run Choice Scarf Embor. Uh, actually, no, no, I'm wrong. He can run uh, Adamant. Uh, actually, no, because he has to be 252. Yeah, he has to run Jolly uh, to outspeed these guys. So, moving on, we have uh, Metallica the Bronzong Assault Vest Levitate with Grass Knot. I'm gonna slow down. Grass Knot, Bulldoze, Zen Headbutt, and Signal Beam. Now, uh, this set is really, really weird, and I've toyed around, around with it a lot. We're actually bringing Assault Vest Bronzong again, because I really, really like it. We're running a physically defensive set, because with that set, we were able to take on things like the Landorus, we were able to take on things like the, uh, the Sand Slash, um, and Snorlax. But with the, the Assault Vest, we're able to take on things uh, like the Suicune. Uh, and no, most notably the Shaman. Uh, also the Nihiligo, uh, they can't touch us at all. Uh, Shaman and Nihiligo are completely walled by Bronzong, which is why we're running the Assault Vest. I could run Leftovers, but I, you know, maybe I should, but I like the uh, the Leftover, or the Assault Vest on this thing, it really helps us. And um, the, the moveset is very, very weird. Grass now is there because it hits Suicune a lot uh, for a lot of damage. Um, Bulldoze is there, so the Charizard can't Dragon Dance on us. So he goes for Dragon Dance, we just uh, Bulldoze and basically stop him from doing that. Uh, Zen Headbutt is there because it hits the Nihiligo, one-shots it, no problem. It's also a good stab for things like the Snorlax and stuff like that. And Signal Beam is there for the Zarowark and the Shaman. Uh, pretty standard set. Next we have Kokiri the Virizion Life Orb, justified with Close Combat, Stone Edge, Leaf Blade, and Swords Dance. Enough speed to outspeed a, uh, I believe a Max Speed Shaman. No, no, sorry, a Max Speed Zarowark. Shaman is very, very uh, scary to this team, uh, to be honest. And Virizion is something that it can't really break through, but other than that, Virizion hits everything on his team really, really freaking hard. Uh, Leaf Blade, uh, close, close combat, destroys his team. It hits uh, Registeel, hits Snorlax, it hits Suicune. With Stone Edge, we hit Charizard. Um, we hit Zarowark, we hit uh, Nihiligo, I mean, for neutral, of course, but we'll still do a ton. And uh, we do outspeed, which is nice. Um, oh, it's just great. One of the big checks that Virizion, unfortunately, is the Lander's Therian. Uh, with Intimidate, it really does stop us, which is why Virzion, in the original match, he, he had a Powdon and not Landorus, and which is why Virzion destroyed his original team and absolutely murdered his original team. Uh, here it doesn't as much because the Landorus is alive. If Landorus goes down, we could definitely destroy his team um, with Virzion, but uh, Swords Dance is nice because we could possibly set it up on Suicune if you know we don't get burned from Scald, or he's swapping you know something in like a Charizard. Uh, we can go for Swords Dance against the possibly the Raichu, uh, against the Sand Slash, against the Zarwark, you know stuff like that. So I really like this Virzion set. I think it could do a lot of work. Um, the key for us to this week is to get rid of the Landers. Don't let Charizard set up and set up with our own Virzion and hopefully win the game. And uh, finally, we have Hydra the Hydreigon, Haban Berry, Levitate with Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Roost, and Taunt. Running a very, very funky set. Let me explain. We have enough speed to outspeed a, I believe, a max speed Landorus. Yes, we do. A max speed Landorus. So he has to be scarfed out to beat Hydreigon. Um, we are running enough HP and defense. Now, listen very, very closely. We have enough HP and defense. With a Haban Berry, we take a plus one Drake Dragon Claw from a Charizard X after Stealth Rocks. It does 87 max, which is really, really nice. So if Hydreigon comes in, it doesn't touch the field at all the whole game. We can come in, 
take stealth rock damage. He goes for Dragon Claw. We're good. We go for Draco Meteor. Hopefully land. I'll be really, really upset if we don't. And then take it out, and that'll be great. Um, I think this Hydreigon set is not just for that. You know, its its main purpose is to stop a Charizard sweep, which is very, very scary. But it also is able to take on things like the Shaman. Uh, you know, Dazzling Gleam does a lot, but we can play around it. it can take on things. Uh, it can resist uh, Embor's Flare Blitz, which is important because I don't. I want a lot of resistances to that thing. Um, take on the Sweeping with Taunt. Take on the Registeel with Taunt. Uh, I think Hydreigon is really, really good. Fire Blast is there because it hits the Registeel and the. Um, I think it was just the Reggie team, to be honest. Um, yeah, Draco Meteor and Fire Blast is all we need to hit his entire team for good damage. And um, Roos is there because obviously I want my Haban Berry to actually work. So that's the plan. Next we have Slippy, the Seismitoad, the final member of the team, and the member that I'm going to try to make up to the most. Because Slippy would have done fantastically against Andrew, and I truly believe that Seismitoad would have been able to wall out his entire team. But because I was, you know, too stupid and wouldn't predict the play when I knew it was happening. Uh, Seismito died. This week, we're not letting that happen. We have Rocky Helmet Water Absorb with Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Icy Wind, and Drag... Dragon Claw. Whoa! Scald. Seismito this week is actually really, really good against his team. He's able to take on things like, um, the Embor. He can take on things like Snorlax. The Charizard pretty well, especially with the Rocky Helmet. Uh, he can't Dragon up, Dragon Dance up on, uh, Seismito if we get Rocks up. Because at 75%, we actually one-shot regular Charizard. Like, a, a regular set of Charizard, like Adamant, Max Speed, Max Attack, we one-shot with Earth Power. Or at least put it in range where, uh, you know, he dies to a Rocky Helmet or something like that, which is nice. Um, we have Water Absorb, which is nice because we can take on things like the Suicune. I was going to run uh, Grass Knot, but to be honest, Rizion and Tapu Koko both do so much damage to Suicune. If Seismito dies to it, it's fine. And we can just go on a Bronzong and let that die instead, you know, it's fine. Um, Icy Wind is there for the one the chairs are, so it can't set up on us, which is nice. We predict, and also it hits the Landers really hard. Also hits the um, the Shaman. So if the Shaman tries to swap in, we'll at least hit it for some damage, which is nice, and slow it down. So things like Hydreigon will guarantee that speed. So if it's Choice Scarf, Torn will outspeed, stuff like that, which is nice. So that's the team. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think uh, there's a few mons that could have come. Uh, most notably, the Clefairy was very, very close to coming. Um, but in the end, it just took too much from Embor's Flare Blitz. To be honest, everything does. Everything takes too much from Blair, from that thing's Flare Blitz. is really, really good. Um, the uh, Scizor was still close to coming, even though the Charizard was there, because it still has a good matchup. But I wanted to go with Bronzong instead, because it had the ground immunity, which I really, really liked. So it was able to take on things like the Snorlax. Um, and also, like, you know, Scizor's really weak to, like, stuff like Fire Punch from Snorlax, which is just not fun at all. Um, and, um, yeah, that's really it. I mean... Uh, another man that was close is again, like like I said, is Nido King. And you look at his team. Nido King really does destroy his team. Like Earth Power one shots or Earth Power plus Sludge Wave plus no, those two actually. <laughs> those two uh, moves really wreck his team. Like there's not a lot of things that could take it on. Like and Tweekun will have to swap in and take two Sludge Waves and maybe die. So again, it was really really close. But I wanted to go with Bronzong just because I was worried about Shamans, you know, being a bit of a problem, and also. Uh, I was worried about uh, Charizard because Charizard can possibly come in and just revenge kill Nidoking and, uh, Nidoking and I don't want that so um, That's the team. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, I'm gonna connect with Nox We're gonna jump into the game if you guys are excited make sure to heavy slam the like button down below first and subscribe if not already We are coming back the Quarks and the want their win back. Uh, we are gonna try to get it back uh, We actually never played Nox. This is gonna be my first time playing him. So I'm really, really nervous, nervous about this game so, uh, wish me luck, we'll connect with Nox, and I'll be right back. Okay, alright, fucking, alright, okay. So, I'm just gonna wait a second, because I just told the lads in the chat that the battle is happening. Um, what I predicted to bring, I think he's gonna bring the Charizard, I think he's gonna bring the Lando, I think he's gonna bring the Snorlax, I think he's gonna bring the Registeel, I think he's gonna bring the Embor, and the Shaman. I don't think he's gonna bring Suicune, but we'll see, we'll see. So, um... Into the game now, he doesn't bring Suicune, and uh, he doesn't bring Registeel either. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, he brings a lot of the stuff that, um... He brings a lot of the stuff that I expected him to bring. Um, he says this is a bad, probably because of the matchup, like, he was worried that maybe I'd bring, like, stuff like Scizor or stuff. Scizor would actually do really, really well against his team. So he does have the Zarowark, which I really, really hate playing Zarowark, because it really fucks with my head. Um, but we're gonna do our best. Um, leads on his end. His only stealth rocker is the Nihiligo and the Landorus, which, um... Hmm, how do I feel about that? How do I feel about this? I feel pretty good. Uh, Hydreigon outspeeds Lando, but it does not outspeed, uh, Nihiligo. 
I believe. So if we lead and try to taunt, we just might get just stopped. So I think I'm gonna lead with the Seismitoad. I think rocks up on his end is more important than rocks up on my end, because we still have stuff, you know, we can still take, you know, stuff like that, you know, so. Okay, we're gonna leave with Seismitoad. As he does leads with uh, Nihiligo. Now, 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 now. We're not gonna fuck around with this thing, alright? Does this thing... Is it yeah. Does this thing get grass now? It does. I want to predict him to Stealth Rock, but I really can't. I'm just gonna go straight into... Uh, He's probably going to Stealth Rock anyway. Well, actually, he might not, because he has the Landorus. Why would he... He does Stealth Rock. So, <laughs> uh, I want to Bulldoze, predicting the Charizard, but I really can't. I'm just going to go for the Zen Headbutt. I should be able to catch something. I could double back out. I might do that, actually, because he won't go on a Shaman. He'd probably go on to Zarwark. Uh, but I, wanna, I don't want to take on the Zarwark, either. Uh, I'm just going to Zen Headbutt. He goes for Toxic Spikes. Wow. He goes for Toxic Spikes. How do I feel about that? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure, to be honest. We do land, which is nice. So we killed on the hell ago, but he does set up all of his spikes. So we didn't bring Kamala this week because it didn't have a good matchup, but... God, I wish I did now. God, I wish I did now. So he's probably going to go on the Charizard right here. If he does, I might just Bulldoze because Bronzong's... Bronzong... He goes on a Biggie Smalls to Snorlax. This is not Snorlax. This is the uh, Zarwark. I'm going to go on a Hydreigon. And if it is the Snorlax, he'll go for like Fire Punch. Which we're defensive and we'll take, no problem. So I'm going to go on a... Uh, I'm going to go on a Hydreigon. He does go for Curse. So he goes for Curse. You go for Taunt. Can't go for Curse. And, uh, see, this thing's kind of scary. We don't have any way to get rid of this thing. See, that's why I was scared about Curse Norlax. I didn't bring it up because I was hoping you would bring it. Um, I mean, I can go for a Draco, see how much it does. Which I will do. I got a crit, which is appreciated. Body slam. Don't para. He does para. So, crit into para. Can't be too upset about that. He goes go. I, I do go for Drake Meteor again. I hope he just kills me right here. He does go for kill me right here, which I'm pretty happy about, to be honest. So, I have to go into something that will immediately kill this thing. And I think that will be Verizion. Uh, I could also go into Tapu Koko. I'd also go into Torn. How much? Uh, I don't have a fucking calculator. Shit, two seconds there. Okay, so uh, we have this thing. Tempest, Flyanium Z against a Snorlax. I assume he's a Curse Lax. Uh, Hurricane Z. Can't kill. I assume Verizion still does. I mean, I think I have to go into Ver <coughs> Verizion. Yeah, plus one, we still do a uh, kill from this range. I think I have to go into it. See, I want to predict him to go into... Well, if he goes into Charizard, I'm fine, because I just Stone Edge afterwards. Yeah, we go into Verzeon. We have to. It sucks, but we have to. Uh, I kind of want to predict him to swap out in a Landorus and go for, like, Leaf Blade, but we have to close combat, realistically. We could Sword Dance? But that's stupid. How ballsy am I? How ballsy am I to go for a stone edge or swap out predicting the landers? <sighs> There's no way you just let this thing die. But if I stone edge and he doesn't die, I will lose. <sighs> he does stay in. He does die. Alright! Okay, we didn't over predict. Alright, good on us, alright. So we're gonna take a little bit of poison damage. Thankfully it's only one turn, so we won't take that much. If he goes to the Charizard right here, I might just Stone Edge. I might just Stone Edge. He goes into... Landers, okay. See, this is definitely Landers, because he intimidated us. Um... I 
I'm gonna go on a Seismitoad. Because it's the right play. Toxic Spikes are really scary. <sighs> really scary. <sighs> Good thing is that a Bronzong is immune to both. And, uh, that's nice. Uh, I didn't even think of Toxic Spikes, to be honest. Do I have a Poison type on my team? Nidoking. That's why he said he was uh, happy, because he didn't see Nidoking. That was good on his part. Um, so we'll go out and decide the Toad right here. It is the right play. If he doubles out into Shaman, we're fine, because Bronzong hard walls it. Like, there is nothing that Shaman could do to us, except for Hidden Power Fire. Which, we're a soft vest, so we'll take that no problem. Shit, hit my top guys here, what's going on, man? So, I, I mean, Hidden Power Ice would've been good, because we actually... I mean, Virzion has a, you know, usable uh, special attack stat, so... We'll see what happens. But I'm gonna go on a uh, side of the if he doubles, If he doubles out into Shaman, we're good. See, the thing is right here... We do double out first, so does he double, or does he stay in? I think he's going to Earthquake. Goes for Rock Polish. Now this thing does get Grass Knot. Yeah, he got us. Offensive Landers. Well played, my friend. Well played. If he doubles out of chairs, I will catch him right here, but he's just going to kill us with Grass Knot right here. Uh, I mean, Bronzong still walls it, but we can't touch it at all. Let me think. He's gonna kill us right here, we're gonna go Bronzong. He could be Yachi, but we're gonna uh, ice, Icy win, so at least lower his speed. Which doesn't really mean anything. Maybe I should Squald. But I'm kind of secretly hoping that he goes in Charizard and I'm able to slow it down. I'm secretly hoping he goes in Charizard. Or even Shaman. So, yeah, he goes for Earthquake, that does a lot of damage. We go for Icy Wind, that does a lot of damage. Um, and right here, we're going to go for our Rocks, just in case we do live, uh, or he swapped out or something like that. So, uh, he has Earthquake, so he is physical. We just going to bronze on. Um, so this is pretty scary. He sees that we are uh, levitate, <sighs> and I think I have to go for Zen Headbutt. Not really any way I can predict around it. Uh, I believe I put bronze on set in this thing. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Landorus. That was definitely an offensive one. Uh, we are not minus one. We are. I'm gonna say plus one, but uh, how much does a Zen headbutt do? I'm trying to determine which is the best course of action. He has leftovers. How much does Grass not do? Nothing. Yeah, we're gonna go for Zen headbutt. He's gonna go for knockoff right here if he has it. Um, we could just lose. We could just lose to a really, really good set that I didn't prep for. He does double out, and he goes in a shame, and this, this is our work. We miss. So we don't even get to know. We don't even get to know. I really wish we hit that, because this is our work. This is the our work. Well, I don't know if it is, because it could easily fucking be the shaman. If I go in a Vrizion right now, and... I have to though. Please be the Zarwar. Ominous win. That's the Zarwar. Um, we go for. Honestly, I think we go for Swords Dance, but he could just flamethrower. So right here, I think he's gonna go into Landorus, and I really want a Swords Dance. Or he goes into Charizard. Will I be a man? I'm gonna be a man. Do I be a man? If he kills me right here, am I fine? I think I'm still fine. But I think he's gonna go into Landers. Fuck! Oh, we lived. Well, then, man. Wait.
wait, is that Shaman? I don't know anymore. See, I don't know if that's Shaman, but I think it is. Is this? He went for Dazzling Gleam. I don't even know if Zoroark gets Dazzling Gleam. It doesn't. It's That's fucking Shaman. I'm so fucking upset. We have to click it. It's gonna go on Landers, and I just need... Oh, this is our work. Well, well this is dead. Goodbye, Zoroark. work. Um, so... If Charizard comes in, we have to hit a Hurricane. He goes in a Landers. So... I think I'm gonna U-turn out. Wait, do I have to hit a Hurricane? Do I have to hit a hur Hurricane? He could be banking on a miss. Hurricane does kill. We do land. We do kill. We get a crit. That didn't matter. Alright, so that thing's dead. The Charizard is still alive, though. So that... Everything I just said doesn't matter. In comes Wildfire the Charizard. We have to... What do we do? What do we do? I think we U-turn out, go on a Bronzong, Bulldoze, lower its speed, come back into this thing. What do you think? We go for the Hurricane Confusion, but that won't happen. Okay, let's speed. I go for a U-turn, he goes for Dragon Dance. Do I take a Flare Blitz at plus one? There's no way I do. There's no way. We are defensive as fuck, but there's no way. Uh, boop. I have to hope he's like a defensive set. Or like a... No, there's no way. I have to hurricane. We do hit, which is nice. Any dragon dances. So, he has to... I'm gonna go on a Tapu Koko. Because he could roost. If you roost, I'm in trouble. But I'm gonna go on Tapu Koko. So he's, he's gonna go for Dragon Cloud right here. Or he's gonna go for a fire move. If he goes for a fire move, he should kill himself. I still... I think I think we still win. I, I'm playing it out in my head. If he goes for Flare Bits right here, he should be able to kill himself. If he roosts, hoping that I miss, we then lose. But don't roost. There's no way you can roost. Because Hurricane is like, I know it's 70%, but it's still in my favor. There's no way. There's no way that you would go for roost. You'd go for either Dragon Claw or Flare Blitz. If he goes for Dragon Claw, I'll Thunder Wave afterwards, because then he'd roost, if he does have it. But I think he'd go for Flare Blitz. If he roosts, I swear to God. If he roosts. There's no way. He can't roost. Torn. Okay, I'm gonna go on Tapu Koko. Flare Blitz. He does live. I'm gonna go on a Bronzong. Now, the thing is, right here, we're going to go for Bulldoze. And he has to kill us. If he has roost. If he has roost, we could still lose. But he has to go for Flare Blitz. He has to go for Flare Blitz to hit us. So he'll take a lot of recoil. So Bulldoze will at least keep him... Oh, he goes for Crunch. Wow. We live. We live. We live. And we kill. <sighs> we go for Signal Beam. Maybe he'll miss a C Flare. He goes Armless Wind if he gets the boost. It does. Ah, <laughs> 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 I can't be upset. I can't be upset, he ran it, hoping that he'd get the boost, and he does. What can he do? We take a lot, we're gonna miss Hurricane anyway. We do land, uh, and that does nothing. That does nothing. So, GG. Uh, I can't believe that. I felt like, uh, you know I mean? That was our game. That was our game, and it was a 10%. So, what can you do? Uh, Shaman takes the win, um, because he got the 10%. Uh, I can't be upset. I can't be upset. I played, I played well. I got memed on, yeah. And that was our game. We played better than Nox the entire game, I felt. We definitely deserved that win. 
and he just got the Omni Boost at the end, so I consider that a win in my book. It's a loss. It's a, it is a loss. So we go to six, no seven and two, seven and two, um, uh, and I'm gonna not worry about it to be honest. It's it it is what it is, and um, I knew the Charizard X was gonna be a huge problem going into the game. I knew that. I knew that. Um, you know what? What can I do? What can I say? Actually, I'm gonna fucking save the replay. Um, so we're gonna lose to Knox. We're gonna lose a very, very narrow 1-0 once again. Um, in a game that we would have won as long as, um, as long as we hit two hurricanes. I could have gone for Heat Wave as well, but because I, you know, he got the boost, I had to go for thing. Also, he would be able, he had to use two Dazzling Gleams to two shot me, so maybe I could have gone for maybe. Two heat waves and then, you know, then done that. But um, <sighs> that's the game we play. I can't be mad at myself. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just that's the game we play. If next week we play craft in a game that we have to win, I don't care. I don't care at this point. I have to be craft. Whatever happens, happens. But I have to be craft. That's gonna be another week of the PCL. Pretty disappointing loss uh, in a game that um, I feel like we played pretty, pretty well. Other than the Swords Dance of Brizion. If we killed the Shaman right there, we would have won. Uh, if we, But I, I did think it was the Zarowak. I Swords Dance thinking it was the Zarowak or he'd swap out. He stayed in. What can you do? You know, I, I made a play and uh, it backfired. So that's going to be it for this PCL week. Next week we play Craft and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to have you slam the like button down below for subscribe if you haven't already. To become a member of the Argonauts, that being said, have yourselves a wonderful day and bye-bye. Uh,